We thank you for the gift of this day. We thank you for protecting us since we were born up to this point in time. We thank you for the gift of our teacher, Ogon, our friends who are able to attend this lesson and those who are unable. May you allow them also, those who are unable also to attend it one time, oh God, my Father. Come and be with us, oh Lord, from the beginning of this lesson up to the end, oh God. Come and direct our teacher and us also so that we can pick up something at least. And when school reopens next year, oh God, we shall be having something in our brain, oh God, to put down on our, in our papers, oh God. I pray all this, believe in your heart in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Rachel, for that. And uh, I think we shall move on so well. Okay. Um, those of us who, those of you who are just joining us, I know there are people who have joined us today. Uh, if you've joined us, uh, get to know that uh, these are the Edify classes that have been running through. And um, uh, some, what we use here, the Zoom, where you are right now, then we also have the Google Classroom where we upload the notes. Okay, the Google Classroom where we upload our notes and also we have our WhatsApp groups uh, where we send the communications in case there is anything new that is there. So as you're here, we we'll we shall you'll be joining a website. If you've not accessed the Google Classroom or the WhatsApp group, I'm going to send you uh, the website where you can be able to access those details as well. Okay, now um, we are doing mathematics and um, what we've been looking at I want to share with you, we are going to review our lesson. Okay, I hope we are all able to see the screen. Okay, it's me at three. All right, hope we are seeing the screen clearly. Okay, you can just send a message to just be sure that we are seeing the screen. Huh? Okay. All right. Um, are, we, are we able to see the screen clearly? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it says so. Blessing, good. Okay. So um, those of you who are joining us um, in our lessons, these lessons are brought to us uh, through three organizations, that is Edify Uganda, then CSA, CSOA, that is Christian Schools on Other Association, then the ICT Teachers Association. They're the ones trying to bring the program to us so that the, our learning can continue even when we are not in school, okay? So please be here in time, get those links, and then you'll be able to join us at any moment that we are supposed to be here. Then, um. And uh, as we progress, we say this is our senior three class, and uh, that's my name, those who do not know me. And today, just before we look at what we are going to look at today, I want to review what we've been looking at for those who are possibly new here. Now, we've been looking at uh, vectors, okay? In this second session, we've been looking at uh, vectors. Now, under vectors, we looked at a couple of things that uh, I want us to just review so that uh, those who have joined us can have a point where they can pick up. Uh, we started by defining what a vector was. We defined a vector where we say the vector is basically that quantity with both the magnitude and it also has the direction. So when we talk about the, 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 the vectors, we talk about magnitude and also the direction. And we saw how our vectors are represented as well. 
And we said, when you're drawing a vector, literally, what is more important when you draw that line, there must be an arrow to show the direction. Then we also looked at the types of vectors that we looked at. We, we here, we saw that we have the displacement vectors. Okay, we have displacement vectors. Uh, we have column vectors, column vectors, and we also have position, position vectors. Okay, then uh, where we put more emphasis was about uh, displacement vectors. And uh, under that, we did some calculations on how you can get a displacement vector. We, we saw some calculations on how we can be able to calculate what? A displacement in case we talk about that. Then uh, we also went ahead and uh, looked at a midpoint of a vector. We looked at the midpoint of a vector. And we said, when you have two vectors, for example, vector A and vector B, and if you get the midpoint, so the midpoint can be, for example, OM for the vector, uh, the midpoint OM would be a half A vector A plus vector B. So that's how you would come up with your uh, midpoint in case you're told to calculate that, okay? Then we also looked at operations, yeah? operations on vectors, operations on vectors. And under this, we saw in case you are given a vector, if you, the operations looked at how we can add, how we can subtract, and how we can also multiply our vectors. And we said when you have two vectors and you're supposed to add also, if you have maybe vector x1, we also have maybe y1, okay? Then you also have uh, maybe x2 and then y2. And we said, if you're supposed to add, we add these ones here, x is alone and also y is alone. Also subtraction, we do, we subtract the x alone and also the y is alone. Then we said for the, for the multiplication, we said we always multiply the vector we we'll multiply the vector by the scalar, okay? The scalar, we say the scalar is just a magnitude, okay? There is no direction. So for example, when you have uh, x1, uh, y1, we multiply this by a scalar, for example, k. So this will be kx1, ky1, okay? Kx1. And then, uh, and then that ky1. So that's how you would be able to get your answer for that. Those of you who are joining us, we are reviewing what we've, we've been looking at under vectors. So that when we, we are going to also to do a worked example so that those of us who are not there, we can be able to connect. Then we also, in the last lesson, we saw how we can get the magnitude of a vector. Okay, the magnitude of a vector. And under magnitude, we said if you have a magnitude, if you're to get a magnitude, we basically square root, we get the square root of maybe x, okay, plus y squared, and then we get the square root of that. Okay, so there, in so doing, you'll be able to get the magnitude. And the magnitude is represented by uh, those uh, two lines with the, 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 the vector between two lines or like two posts. Huh? Then uh, finally, we also saw how we can equate, okay? The equal equality or how we can equate a vector, okay? So we said when you to equate a vector, uh, we, 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 we say like, for example, if you have X1, Y1, and then plus um, x2, y2, okay, maybe equals to z1, then maybe z2. So what you do when you equate, you equate the top here, the x is x1, x2, z1. We say those ones will be equivalent. Then the bottom one also in the same in the same order, okay? So 
This is what we've been looking at under vectors. For those of us who are just joining in, okay? That's what we've been looking at. And uh, all these notes here, we can get them in the Google Classroom and you can easily try to review them as well, okay? Okay, I saw some hands up. Yes, Daphne. I'm seeing your hand up. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, do you remember the assignment that you gave us? Yes. Sir, now the that assignment which you gave us, sir, for me, I failed it. And I not because that I never understood what you taught, but I think I interpreted the question badly, but I did the corrections. But can oh. I again turn in so that you can mark it? Yes, you can turn in. You can turn it again. It's okay. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. So, um, so uh, dear members, as the, uh, and also I want to comment about the assignment. Please do those assignments. They help you and they also help me to come back and know what to, I can go back and review again. So please check the Google Google Drive, uh, do a classroom and do, do those assignments eh, as well. Okay, now let me give an example. Let me give an example about what we've been looking at. Eh? About what we've been looking at. For example, we have a question here. This is still about what I've just explained. How we do we carry on these calculations when we have them, okay? So take an example, they're saying given a vector, I'm going to use my working space here. So uh, I'll use this as my working space too. Okay. So uh, we are saying given, okay, I hope we are still able to see. So we are saying given that A, vector A is Z, seven, negative seven, negative two, then B is that, are two points on a plane, okay? Determine the vector A B. Okay. Determine the vector A B. I'm going to use this one to write. Eh? So, so we are saying determine vector A B. That is our task that we have. Okay. So A, we are finding vector, we are to search culture to vector A B. Okay. Vector A B. And we said when we have a vector in that form, but we have our A, vector A is, we have seven, two, and we also have our B as um, one, three, okay? Now for us to get vector A, B, we said when you have A, B, if you to get vector A, B, we say it is O, B, okay? Minus O A. This is our. This is what we are getting. This is our formula here. So we shall get vector B O B minus vector vector O A. So in so doing, you now write these ones in vector form. So we shall get uh, O B will be one three. Okay, which will be given minus O A, which is mi minus seven. Uh, minus two, okay? So this will be equivalent to, we get one minus minus seven, then at the bottom we have three minus minus two, okay? And then of course these ones become plus from our simple addition, then we shall get uh, one plus seven will be eight, and then this will be five. So this will give us our vector, a, B, okay? Is that clear? I hope that is clear. You know, unless someone has a query there, you can raise it up. So once you are given A, a and you are given, given a B, and you're supposed to get vector A, B, it is basically O, B minus what? Minus the O, A, okay? I think that is clear. Okay, so we move on. We are reviewing what we've been looking at. Eh? We are doing, I'm doing more work examples so that we can try to understand what we've been talking about. Then uh, those of you who are writing, you can write eh, with us. Eh? 
Otherwise, if you're not writing, still I will present these ones in the Google Classroom and you'll be able to see the workings as well. So you don't have to worry. Then the next one they are saying, B, find the magnitude of the vector AB. Okay, the magnitude of the vector AB. Let me move, okay. So we say B, we are getting the magnitude, the magnitude AB of the vector AB, meaning we are getting the magnitude of this one that we have got, okay? Aha, uh -huh. now how do we get, can someone help us with the formula of getting the magnitude? Who can give us the formula of getting the magnitude? Yes, Diam. Yes, Diam? Yes, teacher. Um, uh -huh. The magnitude is equal to... So magnitude AB is equal to? Is equal to vector A squared plus... A squared? Yes. Vector A squared? Yes, A squared plus B squared, then you square root. You square root. So what is your A? My A is eight. Ah, no. Now, just pause the idea, man. You're yes. right, right. But then, uh, look here. We've been told our A is the other one up. Eh? This is, take note. Our A is this one. Uh, our A is this one here. And this is our B. But when you want these ones here, these ones become X. Okay? They become X and what? X and Y. Take note of this. Eh? They don't become A. So, in so doing, we shall do that replacement. Uh, can someone do that replacement for us? Uh, who can do the replacement for us? Yes, um, Aguma Isaac. Yes, Isaac. The root of x squared plus y squared. x squared plus y squared. Good. Okay. So, um, DM, I hope you've seen that. You don't take it as a, don't, don't, don't take it as a B, okay? It becomes X, Y. What you get is in form of, it is X, Y, not A, B, okay? All right, I, I think so. Meaning, we shall get our, the vec B, which will be the root of X is squared is eight squared plus five squared. And this we shall get, Eight squared is 64 plus C, five squared, which is, uh, which is, is it 25? 25, so what's your final answer here? Uh, people have already got the final answer. What's the final answer? Uh, yes, Rachel. Rachel? I make a ratio. I make a ratio. You're off. Um, yes, Joy, Phoebe. 89. Here you get the root of 89. Eh? Uh -huh. The final answer will be? 9.43. 9.4. Three. Okay, thank you. So, you can see that you can easily come up with your uh, magnitude from this point here. So therefore, your magnitude of AB will be 9.4, okay? So that's how we calculate the vector part of it. That's how we are coming up with our results for the vectors, 9.43. I think all of us have got the same thing, yeah? Okay, let's work out the second one. Let's go to the second one. So the second one is saying, given that, I hope we are able to see the screen. Those of you who are writing, please, you can still uh, follow, the, you can still write. Yeah? So we are saying, given that vector A is the three one, vector B is this, vector C is also that. Find A plus two B plus C. Uh -huh. Find A plus two B plus C. There we are. So let's look at, we are, we are on the second one here. 
Are we on the second, the second uh, part? We're on the second part. So we are saying uh, we have our, we are on question number two. Hey, there is a hand up. Uh, is there a hand up? Yes, Melissa. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, Melissa. They said when we are we are writing the magnitude, we should put the word units at the answer. Hey, true, 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 true. You add units there. True. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, another one. Yes, Isa. Teacher, I'm kindly re re requesting to first zoom that question such that we know the vector A, B, and C. Hey, Just a moment. Okay, 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 okay. Just a moment. Good. All right. So, uh huh. As you're writing it, uh, yes, Miranda. Okay. All right. I think we are we are there. So we are saying uh, our vector, our vector A is three. One uh, vector b is zero eight, vector c is negative two five. So we are told to find vector a plus two b plus c. That's the challenge that we do have. Okay, now still, as I say, that uh, we have to find vector a plus two b plus c. Okay, that's what we have. So we already have this vector. So what we do, we put now, we just do the substitution. So vector A will be three, one plus two into, this two is a scalar now. Eh? Remember we talked about scalar quantities. This is zero eight uh, plus a negative two, five. This is what you're going to do, okay? So therefore, when you're trying to add, we have three, one plus, this two multiplies by zero and two also multiplies by eight. So two times zero will be zero, two times eight will be 16, plus negative two, five. So that's what we shall be having, okay? So then finally, you now add, we said when you're adding, add up the top and also add the bottom separately to come up with a single vector. So you'll be having three plus zero plus minus two. Please don't put an over sign. Eh? Don't put a cross. I saw someone, someone was doing an assignment and, he, and did this. Yeah? Uh -uh. This is wrong. Eh? This is wrong. You're not supposed to add that line there. Okay? Eh, because they are, these are vectors. So when you put the line, you'll be talking about fractions. Eh? So make sure you maintain that. So it will be three plus zero plus negative two. Then here we shall have one plus 16 plus the five in a vector form, okay? So finally, when you add that, I know all of you can do that. So this will be, uh-huh, uh, this is three minus two, which will be one. And when you add this, we shall have 17 plus five, we shall have 22, I think. So this will be your, vector okay so this will be now your result as it. this is how your vector for a what it will be that is if you have a vector a plus 2b uh, plus c plus vector c yeah. your result will be that okay uh-huh then finally we have been told to get the magnitude okay we have been told to get the magnitude same thing, okay? Mag meaning magnitude of, we'll put it in magnitude of A plus 2B plus C. This is what you're writing, yeah? Will be equal to, uh, is someone who has, okay. All right. So which will be the root of this one squared plus 22 squared, okay? So we shall have someone who has already got the answer. This will be one plus 22 squared will be uh, 22 squared. Okay, 22 squared. I want to see the answers typed. 
What have you got? Please, when you are working with math, please make sure your calculator is close to you and um, you're writing somewhere. Okay. Kaoma Phoebe says it is four, eight, four. Okay, four, eight, four. So this will be equal to four, eight, four plus one will be four, eight, five. So what's the square, what's the answer there? What answer shall we get? The final answer? Ah, uh -huh. Kaoma says 22.0. Uh, Phoebe says 22.02. I hope we are all getting the same answer. Please confirm these answers. Confirm these answers so that we get, we come to A. We said we write units. Huh? Okay, who has a problem up to this point here? Who has a problem? I want to read it. Magnitude. Adi getting vector a b. I, I think we're trying to get to that point where we can exhaust uh, most of these uh, concepts. Okay. Okay. Let me answer some questions. Uh, let me start with Daphne. Sir, now my question was that uh, if the number needs to be rounded off, can I round off? No, no, no. Don't round off. Don't round off. Okay. Get it as it is supposed to be. Don't round off. Okay, uh, yes, Patricia Collins and Angel. Patricia Collins, Angel, talk to us. Okay, they're not there. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have any questions. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. Yes, Claire, there is the Claire. For me, I didn't understand number two part A. Number two part A is here. Are you seeing it? Yes. We said you do the substitution. Eh? You just do the substitution. We said you have vector A, which is already here, plus you have mm. vector B, but mm. there is a two. The two is a scalar. Okay. So meaning the two okay. is multiplying everything in here, plus the C, which is given negative two, five. So we are saying that when you are adding, you add up what is at the top alone, eh? okay? Mm -hmm. Add up the top alone, and also the bottom mm -hmm. alone, and then you come up with your answer. Okay, That's thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, um, do I have any other? Yes, Moranji, Davis? Excuse me, sir. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yes, please, we are. On number 2A, they mm. are on vector A plus vector 2B, 2B plus C. Yes. Mm. But if that 2 was a scalar K, would, be, would we be finding the value of K? Yes, we would be finding the value of A, of K. It means it will be equated to some given answer somewhere here. To be equal to something, then you equate them. Is it okay, Marajo? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. So, dear members, uh, that is how we are supposed to handle. Uh, okay. Yes, you should master the method through which. What, what's more important is knowing the method. That's why we first looked at uh, let's Rebecca. We need to get the method that when you have this, you know what to do. You just do the substitution and you know what that when you are adding, you know what you're supposed to do. When you're multiplying, you basically know what you are meant to do as well. So that is it about uh, what we've been looking at. Now today, I want us to look at to add on. Remember members, we are adding on. Don't forget what we started with. We are keeping on adding on the knowledge, okay? Now today, I want us to, learn something still about vectors. Now that is, I think that is what I uh, so in the, we are looking, we, let's also look at parallel vectors, okay? Our topic today is parallel vectors. 
it is all we are going to add on. We are going to say, what do we mean by a parallel vector? And how do we carry on calculations with parallel vectors? That's what we want us, that's what I want us to uh, learn today. So moving on, um, we are saying, so we are going to find out, our objective to, today is to make sure that we know, to find out, can we able to know that either a line is parallel or it is not parallel, okay? That's what we need to know. Now we are saying parallel vectors, okay? So we say, we are saying that two lines are said to be parallel, okay? Um, come on, we shall, I will give that example. I think I'll give that example later on. Eh? I think I've, I've, I've got your plea. When we are supposed to call it. Now we are saying two lines are said to be parallel if they do not meet and run in the same direction. And they run, okay? And they run in the same direction. So meaning, if, we, if you say that a line is parallel to the other, it means they cannot meet at any one moment. That's what we already know. That's the basic knowledge we, we know. So in vectors, okay, in vectors, that's why it's a vector, we say that two vectors are parallel only if one can be expressed as a scalar multiple of the other. Take note of this. I, I told you in mathematics, definitions are not important. What's important is calculation based on that definition, okay? When you know the definition, we are not going to ask you in a, in a, in a paper, what is a parallel vector? Then you write a parallel vector, is this? No, 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 we are not going to do so. But what should you be knowing? You must be knowing that when we talk about a parallel vector, it means that two vectors are parallel only if one can be expressed as a scalar multiple of the other. So a scalar, by a scalar multiple, we mean that if you have vector A and you have also vector B, how do you tell that these ones are parallel? If this is our B and this is our A, how do you tell? It means that when you multiply a, one of them, with a scalar, a scalar we are taking it as k, you get the other one as well. You come up with the other one. So therefore, if I have my vector a being equal to a scalar uh, b, for example, let me give you an example by writing. If I have a vector, maybe I have two, four. If this is my vector a and my vector b is equal to, Possibly, let me have, maybe I have eight and 16, okay? Sorry, let me use four. And then the other one I possibly have, let me use, let's use this. And uh, the other one, we have four and then eight, okay? If these are two vectors. Now, automatically, how, if you can, if you want to say that these vectors are parallel, it means that, Vector B, you by the way, it can also be the other vice versa. Vector B should be equal to K, this vector A. The K is a scalar. It means that you see this B here, I can say this one can be two into, into two, four. Okay. And this two, four is the same as this one here. So meaning when you multiply these two, okay, when you multiply this, you come up with it, you vector B, okay? You come up with vector B. So meaning you are supposed to get, it can either be either B or A, it, it does not matter. What, what's more important is one of them must be having a scalar quantity, okay? One of them must be having a scalar quantity. That's what we are looking, well, that's what we are saying. One of them must be able to give you must be multiplied by a scalar somewhere to be able to come up with uh, the result of the other. So that's why it can be either A equal to KB or B equal to KA. This is also fine. This is also meaning these ones will be parallel. 
Okay. Now the k can be any value from one onwards. All together, it starts from one. It can even be one. Meaning, if you have vector a as maybe one six, and vector b is also one six. Okay. These ones are parallel because a can be equal to k b. The k can be a one. Okay. It can be one as well. It can also be one. So therefore, we are saying, this is what we mean that when you have, uh, by, by there, if you're representing it diagram, uh, through a diagram, you have vector A, meaning the other one is quite larger or it is equivalent to this other one there by a certain what? By a certain scalar, K. Okay. Now, what happens when it is a negative? Meaning it can also move in the opposite direction. It can move in the opposite, in the reverse direction. So meaning once the B moves in the reverse direction, it means that it's going to be a negative. It can also be a negative as well. It's also possible that when you're calculating, you're going to come, come up with a negative scalar being multiplied by the vector. Maybe let's look at an example. Uh, let's take a look at an example here. Hmm. We are given point P as this, point Q as a three, four, point R as a eight, five, point S as six, two. Show that PQ and SR are parallel. I want to first stop at this point here. Those of you who are analyzing the question. Okay. Um, I saw some hands up. I saw some hands up. Maybe I can. Yes, Isaac. Isaac. Teacher, I was kindly requesting for a recap on how we can verify, but now this is the example. I will get it from this example. Okay. Thank you. All right. So this is what you're saying, that when you, we have, we have an example here, we have a, a quick example here that we have, yeah? Which I want us to pay close attention and then we, 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 we get it. So we have points here, these are points on the line, point P, point Q, point R, and then point S. Our point is to show that PQ, okay? is parallel, PQ and the SR are parallel. That is the, the, the point that we have. So how do we do that? Step number one, okay, we are here. We are to, we are to show that PQ is parallel to SR, okay, is parallel to SR. Now, what is our point? The first thing we need to do, we need to first get, we, we have P, we have our points. We have point P, okay? We have our point P as that. We have our point Q as three, four, point R as the eight, five. Then we have our point S as six, what? Six, two. So what are we supposed to first find? We need to first find these vectors PQ and also vectors SR. After getting their vectors, we compare with the other formula that we have of vector uh, A being equal to KB. This one will show that they are what? They are parallel. So we start, we first get our vector PQ. And we know from our calculation, we know that PQ is equal to O Q, okay, minus O P. Please take, take note of this seriously. At any one moment when you have this, okay? Don't just say P minus Q, uh -uh. O Q minus O P. So this will, be, this will give us our O Q, please we write them in this form here. These ones are now vectors. When you leave them like this, these are points on a line, okay? These are just points on a line. That's, that's just a point, but here we represent them in a vector 
form. So OQ will be three, four minus OP, which will be one, one. Okay. And this will be given as three minus one, four minus one, which will be equal to, I think this is it, two, three. Okay. So this will be our vector PQ. That is the first thing you're doing. So secondly, we are also getting what? SR, okay, vector S, SR. And SR will be equal to OR minus OS. Okay, OR minus OS. So what is your OR? Your OR is eight, five, minus OS, okay? Minus your OS, which is six, two. And what is your result here will be eight minus six, and this will be five minus two. And this will be eight minus six, I think it is two. Then five minus two will also be, Three. This will be our vector S R. We've looked at this in a previous example. You looked at our previous lessons have taught us, our previous examples have taught us that how we can calculate OP and OR. So if you do not know this, then you need, need to get time and then review through it. Okay, get time and then review. Okay, now having got this, how do we now conclude? Okay, so look at what is, we need to know, if we are to get as, uh, if we need to get a parallel part of it, if we need to know this are parallel, PQ, okay, must be equal to KSR. Okay, KSR, meaning PQ, the vector PQ must be equal to SR. This is to show, this is for parallel part of it, to know that these ones are parallel. The K is supposed to multiply through, okay? The SR, okay? Now, when you look at these two vectors, uh -huh, when you look at these two vectors, we know that our vector PQ is a two, three, uh -huh, equal to K, let's take, first take it as K. What is our SR is also two, three. Now, who can tell us what K can possibly be? Who can tell us what our K can be? Uh -huh. Who can tell us what our K can be in such a case? Yes, um, Isa. Isa? Isa? Our K can be one. Good, our K can be one. Okay, are we seeing that? Our K is one, okay? So, and therefore, when you see, when, when, you, when, when you check through, you'll see that if the K is one and you multiply through, okay? If our K is one and you multiply through by one, do you see that you're going to come up with the same answer? So meaning your two, three will be equal to one times it, two, three, this. So therefore, you will see that uh, two, three will be equal to two, two, three, okay? So therefore, you can say, since vector PQ is equal to one times SR, vector SR, hence they are, hence PQ is parallel to, hence PQ is parallel, to SR, sorry, SR, SR, okay? How are we coming up with that judgment? Uh, you just let the number, or you are supposing it to only use one, no. We are just looking at this. We, 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 we are looking at our numbers and we see which scalar can you multiply through? And you come up with this, you see that it will be either there is a scalar that is multiplying to get this other one there. 
So that's here we are seeing it as one, okay? So that's how we shall be able to say that PQ, since PQ is equal to the scalar K multiplied by the other vector SR, then we conclude that these two are what? Are parallel to each other, okay? They are parallel to each other, okay. Let me maybe check through some uh, questions, uh, Priska. Um, teacher. Mm. Can you hear me? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. Like teacher, if you just like if you just like the way you have told us, like which color can be the, like K is equal the to one. Yes, yes, I, yes. I feel like I feel like that's guessing in the paper and they may not match. No, 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 it's, 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 not, it's not guessing. It's not guessing. By the way, when you look at the values also, huh? when you look at these values here, just look at the values. You're not guessing. You're looking at the values that you have got for SR and PQ. Okay, look at the values like, that you have got for. Yes? I think it. Are uh, you breaking? We are not getting you clearly. It would be better if we just like what can we get the answer without without calculating them. Pardon? Like I think it would be better if we multiply the k with the with the sr like the values of the sr and we get the answer by calculating. Uh, you, you, you want to do the multiplication directly. Mm -hmm. Multiply this, then equate, yeah, and like, then you come up with the, with, with the, with the other bit of it. Yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's, that's how you would like to go with it. Okay? Okay. Um, let me look at uh, another... Benjamin? Yes, Benjamin? Yes, I just wanted to ask whether whether that was the answer. Yes, our answer was to prove since there is a scalar which multiplies. Mm. Uh, so that is the answer. Yes. Yes. That's the answer. Okay. Uh, another question. Um, yes, Moranji. Teacher. Yes. Is it, is it necessary to conclude? Very much necessary. Very much necessary. Uh -huh. um, yes, uh, Isaac. Try to go through all different questions. Uh, sir, um, is this similar to the way they calculate collinearity? No, 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 no. It is similar, but it's not the same. Mm, okay. Uh, that's actually we are going to look at the, that part in the next lesson, the part of the collinear vectors, and we see how we can come to that. Eh? Hey, that's that's the other one that we shall look at in our next class. Uh, Claire. Teacher, does it mean that we've also answered this part of the deuce that P, Q, R, and S are vertices over parallel no, no, no. We, gram? We've not yet. We've not yet. We've not yet. Okay. That's the next thing, yes. Uh, yes, Maria? Teacher, when we are finding the vector, can we reduce when the answer is divisible? No. Vectors, we do not reduce them, okay? Do not reduce vectors. Vectors will remain. If we, vectors really give us points. Eh? If we have point two, two, and you reduce it to one, one, it's like you've reduced the vector down, which is not the case. So you maintain it. If it is two, two, keep it as two, two. Don't reduce it to one, one, eh? Okay. Um, who else? Yes, Isaac. Finally, teacher, I'm asking just like you you chose to equate PQ 
vector pq is equal to uh, ksr can mm -hmm. we sim, mm, as in similarity consider sr to equate to kpq to uh, yeah 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 it is okay it is okay it is very okay fine. it is very fine okay um finally miranda blessing master what if they bring another question maybe like as for now we've known that k is one eh? mm -hmm. and they bring another question and instead of one they bring something like five or seven then how can we find out that that number is seven instead like for now it was simple that you found out that the number is one uh -huh. but now i think that's what i'm coming to now when we get here as I said, for the one, it was quite easy for us to see this. Eh? It was quite easy. Now, when you get this, eh, what you do, you could carry on a direct equating. Since we are saying 2, 3 is equal to k, 2, 3. Okay? Our point is to get this k. This k is supposed to multiply both. But remember, when you multiply through, here you're going to get, you're going to get what? Here we shall be two, three is equal to two K, three K, okay? So meaning, remember our, 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 our part of equivalent, equ equ equating, yeah? equating vectors, where we say this one should be equated. So two is equal to two K. So here your K is one, okay? Then when you see three is equal to three K, here still your K is one. So. By working out, you can conclude to this, that your k is equal to one. Your scalar that is multiplying through is one. So in the case it is a five, you will even find it that it's either five or it is not five. In the case it is seven, you will even calculate it through and you see whether it is seven or it is not seven, okay? That's what you, that's the bottom line that you have. That's how you can easily uh, run through, okay? Do you only subtract or you can also add? Uh, you only subtract, you, you only so you do the subtraction. If you're to get PQ or QR, you can only get, do the subtraction as well, as well, okay? So that's the other bit of it. Those of you who want to find out by calculation and what, but of course there are cases when you're going to see that you have a very wide number whereby even the, the mark you're going to get is just to make sure that you have the K. So literally all this may not be able to uh, help to find something, but that is how you do. K into this, then when you multiply through, you get your K. This must be equal to this. If it's not equal, then literally, if now, uh -huh, maybe another final thing that I want to talk about. What if you get these Ks for Y and X, if they are not equal, that means they cannot be what? Parallel, okay? The k for the x must be equal to the k2 for the y. If you got your result, take an example. If I have 2, 3, okay, and I'm equating it to maybe k5, five, uh, five, 3. Are you seeing here? Now, here I can say 2 is equal to uh, 5k, which the answer here I'll have k is it. Here, my k is a two out of five, okay? Two out of five. Then here at the bottom here, I have three is equal to three k. My k is equal to one. Therefore, since these ones can't be the same, meaning there is no scalar which multiplies the two to get the other one. So what do we conclude that these ones are not parallel? Okay, in such a case, we conclude that they are not what? They are not parallel because we have no scalar which multiply through to come up with, we have no common scalar which multiply through to get the other one. So in such a case, we say those ones are not what? They are not parallel, okay? I hope that is a bit clear. Yes, far here, far here, far here, far here. Is it close? So can we be given the scalar or we have to find it on our you have you, you have to find the scalar. You must find the scalar in such a case. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, our time is fast spent. I know we can do this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of time. Uh, we have little time left. We have actually no time left. Eh? It's just one minute past. 
Now, uh, what my point is, this is how you can easy. I know uh, you need more examples, but we have a little time. But uh, dear members, this is how you can uh, try to calculate through your, your answer for you to be able to come up with the answer for, to find out if they are parallel or they are not parallel. The bottom line is, yeah, the bottom line is, as we conclude our lesson, make sure if you have a, a should be vector a being equal to k vector b or it is b being equal to k a it is also fine but our point is there must be a scalar a common scalar which multiplies the row to come up with it, this other one there okay dear members i would like us to stop here for now i'm going to upload the this is this a uh, i'm going to upload this a uh, work that we have worked out through here. And then you will be able to, I'll upload it in the Google Classroom as well, uh, so that you will be able to get it. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, do I have any question as we close? Uh, Louis has enjoyed the lesson. Thank you so much for, attend, for attending and enjoying the lesson. And uh, let's meet next time. I'm going to upload a question where you're going to work out for me just about parallel vectors, how we can be able to show that this one is parallel to the other. Okay, show how this one is parallel to the other. Okay, I'm going to upload that and you'll be able to work out. No matter, Sarah, you've not spoken anything and your hand is up. Yes, uh, I would like you maybe if. You can send us some links because I'm new here and I need some links to do the assignment and send the work. Okay. Um, now there is a, a website. Uh, let me share with you here. I uh, hope we'll be able to see it here. I'm going to share with you a website here. Now, when you join that, get to that website. Okay, it's there. It has been shared with you by Mr. 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 Stephen. So please, you click on that link and you should be able to. Yes, please, please. You can Sorry, take I, I, made a, I made a mistake in the, in, the, in the website. I'm sharing another one. Okay, there was, there was that one. I think I've shared something there. Mr. Domba, unless you have something to close with, uh, otherwise we are through for now. No, I don't have anything to share, Mr. Amsama. Thank you for okay. the lesson. All right, thank you. Okay, um, Miranda? Must I have a question? Because I was asking myself if we have a what? Group as senior three because I like I just started one week back and I, I don't I'm missing some notes so I'm requesting that if you have a group I'm requesting you to join me in that group. Um, Mirembe, you see that link? I also which... want some like I also want to cooperate with my fellow students. Yeah, you see that link which is in the chat. You tap on it. You're going to see where the WhatsApp groups are and then you're going to join them for your class. Eh? Okay, thank you, Master. All right, you're welcome. Uh, finally, Isaac, you give us a closing prayer after your question. Uh, teacher, I'm kindly asking to guide me on how to attempt those assignments in the Google Classroom, because with my experience, it's, I don't know. It's like, it's my first time, because so, I, I tried it out. But you are, you, can you be able to access the work? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, what you do uh, after accessing the work, okay? What you're going to do, you are going to take. For, you're going to write in your book, okay? The the results that you you get. Yes. Then afterwards, you take photograph. You you take you you go to that. You go back to where you got the work from, and then you tap on the option of turn in. There is an option of turn in. Eh? Yeah, I saw it. Yes, you saw it. Good. When you set it in, it will show you. Uh, it will show you that you scan. So you tap when you tap on scan, you take those photos. Eh? Each of the for your answers, 
then you will upload them. That is how you do, you do it. You got that option of turn in, then it will allow you to scan, okay? You get your phone that you're using, then you take those pages one by one, and then after that, you tap on turn in. Then I'll receive it from this side. I think that okay, will be easy. Okay, give us our closing prayer afterwards as we close. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for the moment of the mathematics class that we have just finished. Call upon your guidance, our teachers. Bless them for their, com for their commitment in serving us and give us the spirit to understand what they teach us. Give us provision to always access these sources as in money for data and to all those that have been facing shortages, but they have it at heart that they want to make it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, Isaac. I love you all, and I want to wish you a good week and a weekend. 